What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. I'm here today with the Volvo 242 with S Racing and S Drifting. And this car is really not that good at either of them. But new body kits out. I've never done a build on the channel. And a lot of you guys have asked for it before, so why not get it to you? Real talk. Stats wise, this thing is nuts. It pushes a ton of power and it's really uncontrollable because of that. I've done a lot of different configurations. I've been, I worked on this a lot when I was setting world records back on rapid transit just to see if this could compete. And honestly, it's just so difficult to control that you really can't tame it. But if you guys want to get rowdy with it, let me show you what we've got. Today we are listening to Shout Out Remake by our man Unk RC. It's pretty solid got a lot of hype with it so I'm thankful to that uh, let's dig into it there's a lot of different ways to build this car and all of them are just insane right now I've got the drift in front of us because I think if you're gonna build the car it suits drifting a lot better than it suits racing but I'm gonna give you both because that's what we do out here so getting into it for the styling portion obviously that new body kit comes with a crash bar and it's got a light bar and stuff on it I obviously changed up a little bit so kept the side skirts um, kept the crash bar, but then I pretty much changed everything else. It's not that different from the regular Volvo, so just be aware of that going in, you guys. There's not a lot you can do with it. It's got about two different kits, and uh, you can make it, you know, little wide body. It, it's, it's a shit box from the floor up. What's up? Let me just say it that way. Um, nothing really too custom that I wanted to get into with it, but overall, it's here. It gets it done. All right, for the performance, the engine that you are going to use in both the race and the drift builds for S-Class is the fourth engine over. That is the 7.2 liter V8. 390 brake horsepower when we start. That is the iron basic motor. I didn't need to buy all the motors this time because I already had this one in the lab because I bought every engine for this about three months ago and really tried to make this car like a record setter because of the power you can get, but the handling just doesn't match. For the parts, for the drift build, you are going to run Elite Platinum, all of it for S-Class. So it's Elite Platinum Induction, Elite Platinum ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System, Elite Platinum Exhaust, and Elite Platinum Screw Supercharger, so that way you can get all of the torque and put it all to the floor. Elite Platinum Nitrous, because it fits. Elite Platinum regular suspension because you don't need to up up the suspension. You're not looking for acceleration and grip on tarmac. You're actually looking to get the side, car sideways. Um, Iron Basic brakes because who needs brakes? And Elite Platinum drift tires. I have found that those are giving me the most push and allowing me to set the best angle with all the cars. I've spent a lot of hours learning to drift this week in the DeLorean. And so being able to apply that knowledge to this build is really helpful. Um, it didn't take too many different renditions before I got there. Now, you do get to put on a Sport Bronze Clutch because we've got some extra points. Pair that up with the Super Gold 7-speed transmission. I found that drifting this car in 5th and 6th gear was pretty sturdy. So having just all that extra top speed in the gear when you boost out, it accelerates really good and allows you to keep that momentum up. So... I would say run the seven speed, you guys, but if you want to go down to the four speed, you can. It'll keep it in the class. The other two transmissions, you'll have to take some power or some nitrous out. You're going to pair all of that with the Elite Platinum Differential. That way, you can get 100% of your slider and move it all the way to the drift side. Now, for the auxiliaries, nitrous drift is a staple. You've got to have it, but the second one, you can run grip. You can run near miss. I honestly didn't even change the second one from the race setup because, honestly, that second one's really a throwaway, so it doesn't matter. Just as long as you've got drift on for the drift events, it's really all you need. For the handling, slide that slider all the way to the right. We are 100% drift on this build. Steering sensitivity, I run it two clicks high. I've had some other guys report that they run it higher, so that way it turns in really good. And I've had some other guys report that they like to run it low. So that's a personal preference thing. Make sure you're setting it up your way. Downforce, run it all the way low. Back it off one that is S329. 
I think lower down force is pretty solid. It allows the car to transition smoother. If you raise it up, it's going to make the car transition quicker. So if you want the car to really rotate quickly, having the downforce a little higher does help with that. So keep that in mind, you guys, when you're building your cars out. Uh, and definitely experiment with that. Traction control off for sure. And then drift entry, I run gas or brake tap. So depending on what corner I'm in, I can just sit there and press all the buttons and panic and get it sideways. That's the Volvo 242 for drift. It says it'll do 208. I definitely believe it would. And maybe if you're a drift racer, you might try in this configuration for racing. That's not my style, but it could be yours. 1201 for the horsepower. 1308 for the torque. This thing is a monster. Uncontrollable. It, it's the suicide Volvo. That's what I was going to title the video, but I think that YouTube wouldn't like that too much. But anyway, regardless, that's what I set up for drift. It, it's the most power you can get out of it. I think maybe reducing the power maybe could make it more controllable. I really don't know. Um, th this car is just rowdy. I would say it's, it's just rough no matter what you do. Let's dig into the race format. Let me show you what I got over there. All right, here we are at S Race. I've got a grip set up on it. It's and you could probably run the drift race style with the grip setup because honestly, it is that rowdy. And that's about the only way I kept control of it on some of the tracks. You'll see that in the gameplay footage. I really spent a lot of the time on this car about 3 months ago when I was trying to set a record pace on Rapid Transit. This was the only other car that really had the power and the acceleration at the top end that we thought could maybe hang with the uh, 71 Skyline. So I've got a lot of experience with it, but really the car is unpredictable. It's hard to drive, and you'll see, you'll see that in the gameplay footage. I mean, it, it's a rowdy boy. But let's get into it now. It's the same engine that we use as the drift build, so that's the fourth engine over. It's the 7.2 liter V8. You can get max power out of that engine, and so that's what we run. It is the iron basic 390 brake horsepower when we start. Now the parts, you're gonna do silver pro induction, elite platinum ECU, elite platinum fuel system, elite platinum exhaust, and then elite platinum screw supercharger. Sport bronze bottle of NOS, elite platinum road suspension, iron basic brakes, and elite platinum grip tires. You're gonna do everything you can to get it to grip because it really won't. And then iron basic clutch, and then we're gonna pair that still with the Super Gold 7-speed transmission. It's gonna give you the most top end out of the car. Um, the other ones actually take it out of the class because of it having a faster zero to 60 time, less shifts. But the 7-speed, you pretty much just live in sixth and seventh for most of your racing. Uh, you're gonna run the Elite Platinum Differential for sure because this car only does 60% grip. And then for racing, those auxiliaries are always for me going to be nitrous drift and nitrous grip, so that way I can micro drift. Handling, slide that slider all the way to the left. We're going to try to touch Beyonce, but she's just too far away. We are 60% grip. Steering sensitivity, two clicks high. That's where I like it. You guys do you on that. Honestly, there's no taming the beast here, so just go with what you feel. Downforce, go all the way high. Back it off one. That is the only place you will get S329 with this setup. Everywhere else is S plus 330, so back it off one, and that's the spot, you guys. So make sure you do that. Traction control is off, and drift entry, I run brake tap. I still had it set up for drifting, but uh, brake tap for racing, for sure. That's the Volvo 242 for an S-Class race up. 206 is what it says it'll do for a top speed. It'll do about 209, 210. Uh, on rapid, I do a little better than that, coming out of a three-bar of boost. But with Redline Tech, it'll do about 209. 11.49 for your horsepower and 12.59 for your torque. This car is really hard to drive, you guys. It is not one that I'm gonna recommend for anybody. It is way towards the expert level of driving. If you can tame this, you'll be omega fast in the 71 Skyline because this is way more rowdy, way more unpredictable, and absolutely wants to get you killed. Uh, but other than that, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Come run Copium Series with us this week. We are running the DeLorean on Yin Yang, which is the very first race in the Downtown Drift playlist. All you need to do is run the DeLorean, any build you want. Take a screenshot at the end of the race, so that way I've got your points on that track, and submit it to me via Discord or email. 
and we'll get you put in. You can update your time as, or your score as much as you want. So if you better after you submit it once, go ahead and send me that updated score. We'll get you put in for sure. It's a lot of fun. We are really competing as a group to try to set some high scores this week. And I've got some other guys in protest that are setting very low scores just to see if they can get around the track and score nothing. So that's a lot of fun too. But at the end of the day, we're all vibing and having a great time. And we'd love to have you be a part of that. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for that gameplay footage. Bye-bye. All right, you guys. I got the homies with me. I got Splash. I got A617 F99. 6520-99A41, or Ben DL, as we affectionately call him, and then our buddy Epic Rilo. Um, volume 3 things, I spent over half an hour trying to get a playlist. Nobody wants to race, so I had to call on the crew to get some gameplay footage for you guys. Let's go! So let's get it. This Volvo, um, I was going to title the video The Suicide Volvo, but I feel like uh, YouTube probably wouldn't be all that gentle with me. But my god, is it a rowdy beast. But dude, it's got the power. <laughs> and this is where the whole race goes away. We, we die here. We die like men, though. Damn you, tree. I'm gonna remodel that F-150. This thing is so rowdy. I feel like it'll be a decent drift car, but oh my goodness. We're gonna just we're gonna just die here. I can't believe we cut like that. That was a legit turn. I had this built down to A+, but it just didn't cut the mustard. This thing is really rowdy, but actually fast in S. Yeah, 208, 209 with Redline Tech. It's pretty solid. Not really. It's really hard to drive. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. But, uh, it's alright. Oh, okay. oh, riding the L. Why did I pick this playlist, bro? I'm going to be dead. <laughs> Why did you do this to us? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah, at least I like side, I guess. Yeah, we're not doing lakeside. There's always a positive. It's never lakeside. Not on purpose. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. I love that skyline. It's so pretty. Man, that clutch in that Lambo gets that thing going, dude. Mm -hmm. Even for auto. See you never, dude. Oh Trying to drive like slide QT right now. Just drift in, boost out, try to point the car. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. You know, all that drift practice <laughs> has made me a faster racer. Not really, but we're going to pretend it is. <gasps> no way! <laughs> what a skill issue. I missed the checkpoint. I'm just trying not to drive the car too aggressively because I know it won't handle.
Come on, little Volvo. Oh my god. Okay. It's a tank. Who knew? Good W, Ben. Good W. Skill issued all This thing is so hard to drive. Sheesh. It's too rowdy. You guys don't want this. Maybe for drifting, but not for racing. <laughs> Rilo, what happened, my boy? Oh, I, I had to go do something with my kid real quick, so I uh, started late. Oh, okay. Hey, no DNF. We'll take it. Yeah. All right. Rapid Transit. The one track that I actually really got sweaty with this car. I was trying to beat the skyline in this thing just to see. Uh, hot take. It didn't work. <laughs> Ooh, got the Diablo. Got the Rosa. These are some fast cars. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Splash, I love that helmet, dude. You're just rocking that to the end. <laughs> I do like the, the way the Volvo looks, dope. though. It's a, it's a little shitbox. For $15, I'm going to wear that to the end of this game's days. It's I such I would a too. crime that it's $15. Excuse me, fellows. Okay, now's the worst part, because I have no drift entry and traction control. Oh. Who put that car there? Alright. Ooh. Ooh. No! Panic! I honestly, I should have died there twice. It doesn't I turn as sharp as I'd like it to, so I was just in panic mode. Did I put a car into you? Yep. Nice. I gave him a boost though, let him get going again. <laughs> oh, there's some chooch! Oh! Testarossa! And I respawned into train. the train, dude. Oh, the fuck? Splash, you're too far ahead. Testarossa. Let's see if I can bring it back. <laughs> no way! Oh man, that's th that's just this car getting loose. I came around this corner, and I jumped in a place I've never jumped before, into a nuclear cooling tower I didn't even know existed. What an experience. <laughs> uh, hashtag, don't drive the Volvo. <laughs> <laughs> At least not for grip. We'll see about drift. Yeah, we'll see if we can drift it. It'll probably be a much better drift car. I hope. Sheesh. Well, that'll be the race playlist. So, let's see what we can get sideways and uh, see how it does for points. Alright, got the guys with me. We're going to break out the Volvo. I've done a little bit of testing on this track. I found that best drifts for me were coming in fifth. Maybe six gear if you're carrying a ton of momentum, but I think fifth's kind of that sweet spot. So we're going to try that. Um, 
the strat on this track is to throw the car in reverse, let it reset you, it'll reset you at speed, and it allows you to hit that first corner with a little momentum. So we'll get this going. I've had a butt ton of practice on this track, so that's why it is my best drift track to show you guys if a car will drift or not. car sets a good angle, it just doesn't carry as much momentum as I would like it to. There we go. Try to hook these corners. Now we're in the times four. There we go. There's a nice drift. See, right there, we lost a little momentum. Whereas with a car that's really set up good, you wouldn't lose as much there. But the Volvo's not bad, it's capable of setting up a score. It's just not what I would really like to see out of it. Finish this out, bank our points so that we can start a new combo. The yellow dots above the times five multiplier, that's what we're chasing right now. We want to get three of those by the end of this race. I don't know that we will, but that's optimal if you can. Seventy thousand five five five. That's not bad. Seventy uh, k on that truck's pretty good. Obviously, Ben's got his run down doing seventy five four twenty. Uh, but that's going to be the drift version of the Volvo. I would say it's rowdy as a race car and it's okay as a drift machine. But maybe with some fine tuning, we could hone that in a little bit. But guys, that's the gameplay footage. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.